Hello, this is Peter Freeth, and I wanted to explain how we can start to understand even the most unusual behaviour in another person by looking at it from different angles. And it's important to remember that we are physical beings. We are bounded by the laws of the physical universe. We didn't make these laws. They're just the way that things are. We spend our life experimenting with these laws, trying to break these laws. But what we find time and time again is that we are constrained by them, like it or not. So let's imagine a ball floating in space. Is it moving? Well, Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that we can't know. We can know if the ball is moving relative to us, but the idea of moving or stationary are completely arbitrary. They're relative terms. So let's add a planet into our simulation here. And that blue line at the bottom you can see is a surface of a planet, and a planet has gravity, and the gravity imposes a force on our imaginary ball. It makes it fall. And as a child, you would have spent many hours experimenting with what happens when you drop something. And through that, you developed an intuitive understanding of the laws of the physical universe. So we know what happens when we drop a ball, but what would happen if we tied a ball to some structure and then we let it go? What would happen then? Well, then we get the motion that you're familiar with for a pendulum. A pendulum has two forces acting upon it. It has gravity trying to pull it down and the string where it's attached to something is also creating an opposing force. Now, that force isn't directly opposing. If it is, the pendulum just hangs straight down. It doesn't move. But if we introduce some energy, some direction, by moving the pendulum to one side and letting it go, we expect to see it swing from side to side. If we were to look at the pendulum from above, we would see it swinging side to side, but we wouldn't see the string that it's hanging from. So its motion would be maybe more difficult to understand. We could see it moving from side to side, but we wouldn't know what was causing it to move side to side. So our intuitive knowledge of the laws of the physical universe would make us think that a force is pulling it to one side and then pulling it to another. And actually, there is no force pulling it from side to side. There's the force that you originally put in to make the pendulum swing. But after that, it's swinging because there's a force pulling it back to its centre position. And there's a force, a string, which is stopping it from just moving freely. So if we take uh, some energy, some force, and we constrain that force then what happens is we get movement round in a circle. If you imagine tying the ball to a piece of string and swinging it around your head, you would expect it to move in a circular pattern. Now what happens if we take our pendulum and we walk down the street with it? If we were viewing from above and we could only see the ball that was moving, we'd see a pattern like this. Now if that's all that we were seeing, we'd think, that's a strange, complex, unfathomable motion. But actually by studying the motion and by using what we know about the physical laws of the universe, we can say, actually, this is very simple movement. It's a ball that's tied, it's constrained by a piece of string. It can't move further than the piece of string will allow it. And as it's moving from left to right across your screen... The ball swinging from side to side now creates this more complex pattern. Or it appears to if we are in a stationary position as the observer relative to the ball. And so we can end up with very complex, unusual motion that on the surface seems hard to understand. But then when we understand the rules that are driving that motion the behaviour suddenly seems entirely normal and predictable. So we only know that something's moving if there's a point of reference, if we can see it moving relative to something, relative to us as the observer, or relative to some 
bigger frame of reference outside in the world. When you, the observer, are moving, it can be very difficult to have that sense of perspective. It can seem like you're moving along in a single straight direction in life, for example. But actually, if you stand back far enough, you'll see that what you're actually doing is going around in circles. So if you ever feel like you're going around in circles in life, there have to be two things happening. There has to be some force, some energy acting upon you, making you move what you think is forwards. And there has to be something constraining you, the piece of string, something that you're tied to, that is translating that forward energy, that motion, into the circular motion that we see. So if we're faced with what seems like random or eccentric or unpredictable behaviour, it's only because we're not standing far enough away to see the forces and the constraints that are acting upon a person. Once we look from the right perspective, we can see that actually even the most complex behaviour can be easily explained by very, very simple rules. And if we think in terms of the energy that's acting upon a person that could be generated from themselves, or it could be something external, like we saw with the force of gravity. And we think about what's constraining that person, which might be rules or beliefs or even fears. Then we can start to understand what's driving their apparently complex patterns of behaviour and see how simple and predictable they really are.